I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a video which is actually for my student Madhvi. Madhvi, in this video we will see how to write volume in different units. We will take up meter cube, centimeter cube and liters and I hope it will really help you to understand the connection between all three of them. The question is, a circular swimming pool has a diameter of 8 meters and a height of 120 centimeters. What is the volume of the pool in liters? So you can see in this particular question, we have three different units involved. Diameter is given in meters, height in centimeters, and we want to find volume in liters. So you need to convert these units, right? So this video will help us to understand how to convert from one unit to the other. So let's begin by making a rough sketch of a circular swimming pool. So let's say this is the circular swimming pool, right? which is 8 meter wide. 8 meter is quite a large, right? Very big, 8 meters, right? So it is wider than the width of the table by 8 times. 8 meter wide and just 120 centimeters height. So that 120 centimeters is kind of 1 meter, right? 1.2 meters to be precise. So let's understand these dimensions. 8 meters is the diameter. So 8 meters is from one end to the other of the circle, a diameter of the circle. That is 8 meters. And the height is given to us as 120 centimeters. Now we need to find the capacity or the volume in liters. How many liters is this? This is what we need to find. So first, let us see how are they connected. These units. Meter. 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So we could convert these units to centimeters. In that case, I'll write 8 meters equals to 800 centimeters. Is that okay? So, so that is how 8 meters could be converted. And this 8 meters actually is the diameter. So, so we'll write this as the diameter D, which is D, the diameter. Now, how about the radius? Radius is going to be half of it, right? So we can say radius is equals to half of diameter. So you can say half like this or D divided by 2. So that will be 800 divided by 2 and that is 400 centimeters. Correct? So now we have converted all the units in centimeters. What do we have here? We have radius of 400 centimeters and we have height of 120 centimeters. We need to find volume. Now the formula for volume is, let me write here. Formula for volume is area of the circle, which is pi r square times the height. So we say pi r square h. So that is what the volume is. In our case, we know what pi is, it is constant. Let me write down pi as such. r square, the radius is 400, so we will write 400 square pi r square and h which is 120. So we will multiply this by 120. Let us also look into the units. So when I do radius square, it becomes centimeters square. Is it okay? And height is in centimeters. So when you multiply all this, what are you going to get? You are going to get centimeter cube. Is it okay? So that happens with the units. Correct. So let's use the calculator to find this answer. So here we go. Pi. You could write 3.14 or pi depending on if you have it on your calculator, right? Or you can use 3.14. Then we have 400 square. So you could say times or put it in brackets, 400 square and then times 120. So let me show times 120. So we have multiplied all these three numbers and we get a very, very big number. Okay. 
So this number is 6031857.8 point something. Let's forget about that for the time being. It's 9. Okay, so we, we should make it 9. Okay, anyway, this is the volume. And what is the unit of this volume? Centimeter cube. Right, so we calculated the volume in centimeter cube. Now the question says, you need to write this in liters. So let's understand that part. How to convert centimeter cube to liters, right? Well, the formula is straightforward. We have one liter as equals to 1000 centimeter cube. Is that okay? Now in our case, we have how many thousands? Let's see. How many thousands? Well, those many thousands centimeter cube. I'm sorry, this is cube, right? Centimeter cube. So what we have here is we need to find in liters. We know that one liter is 1000 centimeter cube. Now we got the volume as equal to, let me copy this number, 6031857. Seven eight point nine. So let me write this as seven nine. So I'm approximating this to nine. Do you see that? I rounded this number. So we have that number in centimeter cube. Now, if I want to do conversion from centimeter cube to liters, what should I do? Now, one centimeter cube will be equals to one divided by thousand. Is it okay? liters so we'll have to divide this big number by thousand so we get volume as equals to one thousandth of this big number which is you write this decimal here sometimes but bracket is better six zero three one eight five seven nine dividing by decimals you know i mean thousands is moving decimals three years one two three right so you get that big number which is six zero three one eight point five seven nine liters now when we are talking about liters we can round it further right so we get around how much so it is sixty thousand three hundred and eighteen point five seven nine liters which i could write as six zero three one eight let's say point six liters is it okay so that becomes the volume in liters after converting the units to centimeter cube. Is that okay? <clears throat> now we could have also solved this question by converting the units to meters. So let's do it again. But this time, what we are going to do will maintain meters. So we have a diameter of 8 meters. So this is our method 2. So we got our answer. We say method 2. At times, you may prefer to write the answer in uh, convert from meter cube to liters, right? Let me give you that conversion also. One meter cube is equals to 1000 liters. That is the conversion. Now, in our second method, we are going to use this unit, meter cube to liters conversion, and redo the whole question. That is the concept, okay? We are saying diameter is 8 meters, so the radius is 8 divided by 2, which is 4 meters. Height. Height is 120 centimeters, which in meters will be how much? We have to divide it by 100, right? So 100 of 120. That gives me 1.20 meters. So the volume will be pi radius square radius is 4 so i'm not writing the formula i'm using this formula 4 square height height is 1.2 right so that and the units will be now meter cube because this is meter square that is meters perfect let's use the calculator once again to find this answer now in pi you can also use 3.14 so we can use 3.14 times 4 square times 1.2 equals to in decimals we get a number 60.288 you see this is more manageable number so sometimes we may prefer to write bigger units they help you to get better answers well it is the same answer but you know manageable numbers 
but you got in meter cube. Now, one meter cube is 1000 liters. So, this could be written as 60.288 times uh, times 1000. Well, it's very different from our previous answer. I'll have to check my calculations. Okay. Right. So, anyway, let's multiply this. So, that is going to give us 60,288 liters. Do you see that? We did this to converting our units to meters. Let's redo our both the calculations. Rather, I will do this calculation with pi. Okay, so instead of using 3.14, I will use pi this time. So redo with pi. See what happens. Shift pi. So that is giving me pi. Now I'm going to multiply this by 4 square. Okay, and then that by 1.2 equals to in decimals it gives me 60.3185 do you see that okay so let's redo it <clears throat> i mean i'm just showing you that if i use the same calculation so i'm making a note here right so we'll make a note notice if you use pi equals to 3.14 you get some error right you get some error but as you have seen here this is with pi equals to 3.14 now, if I use pi, then what do I get? If I do pi times 4 square times 1.2, I'm getting 60.3185 meter cube. Do you see that? It is exactly the same number. After 5, you get 7 also. Do you see that? So, using pi and using 3.14, when big numbers are involved, can make huge difference in answers. For example, 60,000. I mean, 6603, right? 186288. So that's a huge difference. So if you use that unit, then you get volume in liters as 60 and you move this decimal to three places, multiplying by 1000. Is that okay? 1, 2, and 3. So as soon as you do that, you get 6318.57, you could say 6 liters, which is exactly what you got last time. Do you understand? So in this particular video, we have understood that how to convert units from meters to centimeters and then find the volume, which could be in centimeter cube or in meter cube, and then how to convert them into liters. So the two formulas which we applied here are the first one, one liter is 1000 centimeter cube. And one meter cube is 1000 liters, right? Now from this, there is a question for me, for you. That is to say, one meter cube is equals to how many centimeter cube, right? So that is the question for you to answer, right? So that is your question. You can write down the answer of this question as comments in this particular video. Madhvi, I hope it helps you to understand the whole concept. I am taking up another question which will be a test question for you. Thank you and all the best and to all my viewers I hope it helps. You can share your comments, feel free to post questions and if you like you can put a like there. Thank you and all the best.